Hey everybody, Satyrian Leafspar here for another Resin Rambles. It's actually been quite a while. I hope everybody is extremely, extremely well. It is Sunday. Happens to be Easter here in the United States. Not something that I actually celebrate family does. I'm going to be making a brief semi-serious announcement for my channel here that I want to touch base on very, very briefly that <clears throat> I hope to stick to very seriously and then I'm going to get into a little more of the light-hearted things. Don't worry, it's a very brief statement. This will be, this channel rather, will be a designated safe space and so will the videos. I will not be participating from this point, I don't think I really ever, ever have, um, I will not be participating at all in any of the dreaded R word recast videos at any given point to my knowledge. I can't say never, but at any given point, if I can help it from this point moving forward just because of the feelings and emotions that they incite in both sides. My doll room that I am sitting in now is my safe space, and I want to keep it that way. This is the area, for the most part, that I film in. It is where I work. It is where I play with my dolls. I quote because I don't really play with them in that sense. I do take pictures of them. It is where I dress them. It is where I hobby. And I don't want to sit back here and record videos that make me feel negative or oppressed or depressed. So I'm not going to film videos that could incite those thoughts, feelings, or emotions in others. So, that being said, I don't want to film those type of videos, so I don't want others to feel like those videos are going to come from this channel. It's just not going to happen. I'm not going to participate in it. Everyone knows that if you haven't seen it, I happen to own one and how I feel about it, or him, not it, depending on how you see dolls. So it is what it is. And that's all that's going to be said about it moving forward. So into the more lighthearted stuff. <clears throat> I have this guy here which everyone has seen because I unboxed him before my birthday, around the 23rd, 24th. He is an hour generation, if you did not know. I went ahead and put, back, put him back in his box, I'm gonna call him out of the box clothing because I'm gonna be doing a review on Friday or Saturday. Not really a review, kind of a review, kind of a body comparison. I'm not sniffing him, but his, his, clothing, his clothing is soft. <sighs> Wouldn't do me any good to sniff him. I don't have a sense of smell anyways. Um, I'm gonna be doing a comparison between him and the boy that I got for Christmas, which you've already seen him standing beside. And it would I thought it would be very, very helpful if they were in their out of box clothing as compared to the clothing that I redressed them in. Because I have been playing with my 18 inch vinyl boys quite a bit and taking a break from big 70 centimeter resin guys because it's easier for one because of um weight and there's there's joints 
they are articulated, but there's not as many, and they can't pinch you. But I've been enjoying them. I've been buying stuff for them, which I'm going to film a video right after this one. So there's going to be two videos today. I'm going to do a haul video showing all the items that I've been kind of hoarding because I went a little crazy, but that's okay. I've known for being a little insane when it comes to dolls, because I'm a doll person. But I put them back in their original clothing. I've went ahead and I've given this guy a name. He will be Reed. And this is the guy that I got for my birthday from my mother, because she's a doll person too. That's what I, who I got it from. He is a American girl, Logan. I will say this, the hair is not as soft as the Our Generation, but that's for a different video entirely. This is his out of the box clothing. This is what he comes with, that's his shoes. And these are, is the light washing that out? These are my life stands. They're only eight bucks because I'm not paying for American Girl stands. I don't even know what color they are, but they're not eight bucks and they work just as well. So I went to Walmart and bought these and they're good quality. I mean, I'll cover that in the video too, but they're your, your typical I'll save it for the review, but just so you can see them. They're your typical doll stands. For anyone that has dolls of this scale that aren't BJDs, these are your typical working doll stands. They work super well. And for eight bucks, yeah. But I've been playing with these guys. He is not gonna have a unique name. He is going to be my 18 inch vinyl version, vinyl human version of David kind of the unturned David. He's even got gray eyes and brown hair. Like David's already got, he's got the brown hair, he's got the gray eyes. I thought it would be really, really fun to kind of have a human, I don't wanna say kid version. I really don't want him to be a kid, even though he's got a very childlike face. But I think once I get him in some clothing, I've really even been tempted um, to contact someone about getting his face painted. I just really don't know how I feel about it. But the thought process really, really is there about doing it. Um, That's just another one of those things. Like, do I really want to go that far out and really, really, really turn him into an 18-inch vinyl version of David? I plan on having... I should have brought it over here. My Barbie Jeep repaint done. Coffee, by the way. It really was supposed to be for Louie. Kind of a power wheel. But I've got so many cans right now. I'm really thinking about actually working on my cans, doing something for them because I have so many kins and actually starting to do something with the kins because during March of Dolls, which thankfully I was able to complete and get done before the deadline, even though I wasn't able to do one a day when the prompts happened, actually starting to do stuff with the kins, take pictures of them, dress them, change their hair color, not so much worried about blushing their bodies, don't care enough. But take pictures of them, dress them, because I'm beginning to find that I'm honestly interested in more than just the BJDs. I'm just interested in dolls in general. I'm very quickly going down the road of my mother and just being a doll person, not just a BJD person, which is totally fine. Completely, not really, totally fine. So if I do the Jeep and get it completely done, it will be a Ken vehicle. 
and not a screaming pink, screaming pink Barbie vehicle. I have not touched, and this is terrible, about all that stuff from Toys R Us that was in the Toys R Us haul. I have not touched any of it, just from being sick, working a ton of hours, taking care of family stuff. So I'm hoping to get to all that next week. And I got that Journey Girls 18 inch playset. Well now I have 18 inch dolls, which means if I redo it right, failing my MSD from Impel Doll and these guys can share it. So when I take photos, it doesn't matter if they're in it or Phelan's in it. They can both share both share it as a backdrop. So that will probably be next after the um, the Jeep on the list. So that'd be really fun. The Aries sculpt and Phelan himself are way high up on the to-do list. I've got the sealant and my humidity is sitting at about 50%. I've got a monitor way up there. I don't know if you can see it. It looks really, really bright on my viewfinder. I may even work on them tonight because they've, they've got base coats on them now, especially on the sculpted hair, which is what one of the things that takes the absolute longest because it requires so much pigmentation. So with me having the sealant and all and base layers done, I can really try to get some work done on that. I'm looking that way because it is my rack. I don't dare show you because it's scary. Um, it's not dirty. It's just a craft room rack. Um, I can try to get them done. Aries needs clothes so desperately it is horrifying and he falls right into that category of William where he is absolutely gargantuan but fortunately the last time I got clothes from Kohaku Creations he can share shirts with William and David which is amazing so he's not going to be without shirts even though he probably wouldn't wear rock band shirts, it doesn't matter. He's not going to be naked in the shirts department. He's just not going to have pants. I just need to get some pants. So that's okay. I'll just have to work on getting him some pants. And he can share some rock band t-shirts for a while at least. He's at least got the face as someone that looked like he would be into rock. He's got that... He has an a-hole face, <sighs> to put it lightly. He's constantly he got that angry face, which is kind of fun. Other than that, I'm going to be probably unstringing, de-stringing William in the next couple of days and getting him cleaned up because it's that time. He, if you follow me on Instagram, I made a post about him being chipped in some very awkward and inconvenient places. It's probably time that he gets wiped entirely, unfortunately. His blushing is beautiful in the chest area with his chest hair and stomach, which is not chipped, but his back is chipped and rubbing off just from taking clothes and on and off and in his nether regions is chipped from I don't think it's so much chipped as it's just rubbing off so it's time again I'm either going to try to do it myself which I don't know how I'll fare with chest hair because he needs to have it um, it's and I may just send him off. I've already got two dolls that have been sent out. And I sent those to Joshy Bear. And I'm so excited 
for them to get done and I'm as excited for them to come home and I'm not rushing you by any means. And then I may just send you a gigantic boy for you to do him. Uh, I'll get Phelan done, get Aries done. I better have all the naked resin done in the house. Thank God. Oh, other than Bartholomew, I'll start working on him. He's a fantasy sculpt. I'm more comfortable doing fantasy sculpts than I am human sculpts. I don't know why that is. We'll just figure that out later. I don't really have anything else going on that I know of. I've already hit 15 minutes. Oh, by the way, if you have questions about these two boys, check out my Instagram post. I will try to link the post directly down below where you can kind of ask questions about how these two boys compare or if you have a direct question about either one of these boys specifically. And I will try to answer them in the comparison video that I am doing on Saturday of this week, which I believe is the 7th of April. And I will try to answer them in that video specifically. Just be sure um, if you have those questions, put it in that post because I'm going to be pulling up that post during the video to answer those questions. It's just a really good way for me to collect those questions and answer them there. Like I said, I'll try to link that post directly in the description box below. Well, before this rattles on way too long, I've already hit well over 15 minutes and I really try to keep these videos short. I hope everyone is well. hope everyone stays well. Remember, love yourself, love each other, love your dolls, take care, and have a good evening.